Hi everyone, are you ready to dive into something super exciting today? I know I am. We are going to learn multiplication, but we are not just going to read about it. We are going to use an awesome tool called an array. And the best part about it is we are going to learn this by playing many fun games. Are you ready? Let's go. But what is an array? Have you seen something like this? Hmm, do you see anything common in them? Well, they have been arranged neatly in rows and columns. Hmm, that's exactly what an array is. An array is an arrangement of objects in rows and columns. Like you have these tomatoes and you arrange them like this. How many rows are there? Two rows. And how many columns? Three columns. Right? And we can use these rows and columns to show actually multiplications. 2 times 3, where 2 says number of rows and 3 says number of columns. So this is called 2 rows of 3 tomatoes or what we have learned in equal groups, 2 groups of 3. And now we can use our repeated additions to calculate total tomatoes. So 3 plus 3 is 6 tomatoes. Now you know how to make an array and how to calculate the total value of objects in that array. If you've liked this video so far, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to get auto notified for our next lessons. Let's play our first game, guess multiplication expression. How to play? Look at the given picture, count the number of rows and columns and write the multiplication expression for it like rows times columns. Let's play together. Okay, there are three rows here. One, two, three. Three rows. Let's write it on our left. Let's count the number of columns. One, two, three, four, five. Five columns, which we write on our right. Three times five. Okay, this is called three groups of five eggs. Are you ready for your turn? Let's go. You'll have a timer. Be ready and be fast. Four groups of nine. Four times nine. Good job, guys. Are you ready for your next one? Let's go. Four groups of three muffins. Four times three. Great job, guys. Let's play our second game. Array Pictionary. Are you ready? How do we play this? Well, you will be given a multiplication expression and a picture of object. What we need to do? We have to draw an array with the number of rows and columns as is an expression. With the given object or if you don't know how to draw the object, you could use any symbol like a circle, square or whatever you like. Are you ready? Let's play one together. 6 times 3. This means we have to draw 6 groups of 3 balls. Let's draw our first row and in first row, how many balls we need to draw? Three. Let's draw our second row, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Great job guys. Let's play next one. Are you ready? Keep your pencils ready and be fast. Okay, one group of three cupcakes. Great job, guys. You did amazing. Let's play one more. Two groups of six coins. Good job, guys. Are you ready for your third game? That's going to be our last one. That is guess how many. How do we play this one? Well, we will be given a picture of array of objects. What do we need to do? We need to write multiplication expression and find total number of objects. You can use repeated addition or skip counting to do that. Let's play one together. Okay, how many ice creams? Well, we need, you can see it's four groups of five ice creams. So this will be four times five. In the first row, there are five ice creams. Plus five, 10, plus five, 15, plus 5, 
20. So total there are 20 ice creams. Great job guys. It's your turn now. How many flowers? If you need more time, you can always pause and try it out. 60. Okay, do you want to verify it together? Let's do that. How many flowers are there in our first row? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 flowers. Let's do skip counting this time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There are total 60 flowers. Great. Next do one more. Twenty-four stars. It's six rows and four columns. Six times four, twenty-four. Okay, we'll do our problem solving. Let's try that. Okay, for problem solving or any word problems, our steps are we first read our problem very carefully. Let's do that. How many crayons are there if you have three packets and each packet has five crayons? Our next step for the word problem is to identify our goal or what we want to achieve total number of crayons and our third step is to collect all the information that is given to us so what's given to us we have our packets how many three and in each packet we have five crayons okay after collecting our information we are going to solve this mystery ready so to do this we'll use an array okay Let's draw. Our first row will have five crayons and we have three packets. So we'll have three rows. Let's draw our second and third. Now let's write our multiplication expression for this. So number of rows, three times five. And we need to find that. We can use repeated addition to do that. Five plus five plus five. How much would that be? Five plus five is 10. 10 plus five is 15. So three times five becomes 15. But when you are solving, it would be difficult to draw crayons. So you can simply use dots or any symbols that you like. Something like this also represents the same array. Let's solve our next problem. Mia is arranging her favorite cards. She puts them in the following array. Write and solve a multiplication equation that represents this array. Do you want to pause and try it yourself? Okay, well, let's continue. Let's count how many rows are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So write down 5 times. And in, in one row, how many cards are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our multiplication equations becomes 5 times 7. And how many are there total cards? Do you want to find that? 5 times 7 is equal to, let's do it using skip counting. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. So there are total 35 cards. Good job, guys. I've been wondering that we've always been grouping our arrays along the rows like this. And we calculate them as five groups of seven or five times seven. But what if I group them instead like this? Will the total number of cards stay the same? Can I group them like this? Will 7 groups of 5 and 7 times 5 be same as I would do it along the rows? Hmm. To get answer to all this, you have to wait for our next lesson. We will discuss the multiplication properties. Don't forget to do the trial worksheet for this lesson. The link is available on our channel page, Maths with Varnika. I'll also link it down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to get auto-notified for our next lesson. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.